There are six main categories of simple data types. There's integer, which are whole numbers, positive or negative, decimal, which are floating point numbers or numbers with a decimal or fractional value, character, which are text characters that are either fixed or varied in length, time, such as date, time, date time, and it may or may not include a time zone. It could also be a time interval. There's binary, which is just ones and zeros, just like the data stored in memory or on a computer file. And semantic, which are types that have special meanings like Boolean, where one is true, zero is false, or enum for enumerated values, like the set of colors in a traffic light, yellow, green, or red, or even money for currency representation. And there's also four main types or categories of complex data types. There's collection, which is collection type data, such as a set or an array. There's document, which is text data. That's usually a JSON or XML file. Spatial, which is geometric information like lines, polygons, or map coordinates. And object, which is object-oriented programming constructs. There's also system-defined types or built-in types like, for example, MySQL has float, char, enum, set, JSON, and point. You can also create your own user-defined type using the create type statement and specifying the name of the type and a base type which can be user or system defined. For example, create type points as int, which will create a new type called points with base type as an integer. And even though points is an int, then you can no longer compare it to something that's of type int anymore because now it's a different data type. And note that MySQL does not support the create type statement, however, but Oracle, PostgreSQL, DB2, and SQL Server does. So if you're working with MySQL, then you don't need to worry about the create type statement because it's not going to work.